Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, 26th of January 2024. Happy Australia Day to everybody who's based in Australia. It's Mike Smith, seen it as the Go Markets. Just giving you a little update. The rest of the world is still open, of course, and we are at the midpoint of the Asian session. So let's look at what's come across the news today. Of course, US equities continue to edge higher. We have positive GDP numbers in the Q on Q. PCE numbers were also okay. Earnings are a bit mixed. But the Nasdaq posted its sixth straight day of gains. More importantly, the year on year PCE figures are out tonight. Uh, that is a potential game changer. Either way, uh, expected 3% on the headline number. If it's below that, I suspect we'll see more buying into markets. If it's above that, we may see a little pullback for right now. Earnings will continue to dictate sentiment to some degree. It seems that if we look at Intel's results from last night, we're getting market punishing those who fall short. But generally speaking, they're still coming in OK. As a result of that INTC outlook miss, we are seeing US futures in Asian trading lower. Asian markets are mixed. Obviously, the ASX is closed. And European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. We are seeing some buying coming into European futures, which is interesting. And we'll have a look at one of those as a chart of interest in a moment. US dollar index has really not moved very much if we look at closing prices over the last couple of weeks, but it did edge slightly higher last night, still around resistance. Gold managed to close around 2020. Very choppy session. We saw it drop to 2009, but it's worse on the CFD contract, but managed to recover towards the back end of the session. And copper, which has been a little bit of a tear to the upside this week, pulling back a little bit in overnight trading. All also breached a key level, breaking the top of a range to move to November levels. Really interesting move on oil. Be interesting to see if we hold. We are over 75 on the WTI CFT contract this morning. Bitcoin continues to look weak. We did get small gains yesterday, but it looks like it just a bounce off a key level. 40,000, which it's just trading below, looks important to the upside. Around about 38, 500 to the downside could be a level may precipitate some more selling if it breaches that. Earnings continue to be in focus, even though Friday is normally a quieter day for our few companies reporting. But next week is where we're going to see the major action. On the data front, we've had soft Japanese CPI already out. German consumer confidence later, but of course, that year on year PCE data is vital. A couple of charts that call our eye today. We're going to start with the US yen, and you can see we have been bouncing up and down in a range yesterday, apart from this little dip down after that PCE data came out. This level at 147.50 looks really important. We've tested this five candles out of five in today's trading. And so if we get a breach to the downside, you would expect perhaps a move down towards 147. So perhaps a 40 pip gain, one worth keeping an eye on over the next few hours. But obviously this is an asset class which is going to be moved significantly by that PCE data. So holding it after that may be precarious. I thought it was worthwhile looking at the DAX with the ASX being closed as a chart of interest. You can see on the four hourly chart, we're testing levels today that were also important and tested on at the beginning of the month and again, middle of December. So this 16,900 level looks really quite important. Breach through that may take us up 85 points or so to test that round number 17,000. Uh, if we look at where this sits generally, if you put it on a weekly chart, you can see how good it is performing. We are now seeing highs on the DAX. The FTSE is very similar if you want to have a look at that chart too. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.